This set actually took me a bit by surprise because... Hey guys, this is JP's LEGO Reviews. Today, I'm going to review the LEGO Speed Champions Fast and the Furious 1970 Dodge Charger. Now, the set number on this set is 76912. The piece count is 345 pieces, and the set is recommended for those aged 8 and up. So, let's break it down. Now, here is the singular minifigure in this set, which is Dom Toretto. Now, apart from the detailing on the singlet, this minifigure doesn't look too bad, but also it just doesn't have a lot of detail in general. And I'll move on to the back, where this minifigure has a bit of detail on the singlet, but again, apart from that little area, this minifigure doesn't have too much detail. But the probably the bonus about having this minifigure is that LEGO have finally made some Fast and Furious characters. But now, let's move on to the set itself. Now, here is the Dodge Charger itself. Now, I'm going to quickly show you what this set looks like, just from all angles, mainly because most of the best parts about this set is actually the way it looks. And I think for a Speed Champion set, I really like the way that this has actually been built, simply because of the amount of detail that's actually been able to go into this model. And also, because the Dodge Charger naturally is quite a squared off build, or a squared off car, it actually works well in LEGO form. Now, here are a few different details about the car. Firstly, you have the logo over here. Then you have the hood scoop as well. On the side, you have custom rims, which were actually, I believe, just kind of dome pieces just attached to the wheels. Then you have the window section and the sticker sheet over here is meant to kind of represent the window design of the Dodge Charger. Then you have the back where you have the number plate from Fast and the Furious. You also have the lights and the lighting pattern is actually printed as well as the exhausts over here and here is actually the piece that they use to make a door. And the roof on this set actually isn't attached to anything. So it just comes off and it kind of slides in, but it can't easily be slide, it can't easily slide out. But I'll quickly show you the interior of the set and then I'll move on to my final thoughts. And here is the interior. Now I have the nitrous over here. The detailing over here is the roll cage. I'll actually take off the windscreen so you can see a bit more. Then you have the gear shifter piece over here and then the steering wheel on the left hand side. And also, like I have designed this set car to only seat one person, when in the movie it actually sit seats two people. And also, here it's represented as a sticker but there is the fuel cap. But now, I'll move on to my final thoughts and also the instructions as well. Now, here's the instruction manual. Now, it actually comes in this relatively plain design, which I've actually noticed for 2023 sets that they've kind of, well, this actually released in 2022, but they removed the sort of artistic design on the instructions and they've made them more plain. You have the progress bar and once you're finished, you also have the other Speed Champion sets as well, including the Aston Martin DB5, which I've reviewed, as well as the Lamborghini Countach. But now, let's move on to my final thoughts on this set. Now, what are my final thoughts on this set? Well, this set actually took me a bit by surprise because Firstly, the building experience in this was actually really interesting. There are a lot of very interesting building techniques that were used in the making of this car. It's also simply a larger build than what I expected as well, because it has more pieces. I thought it was just gonna be just small pieces, but the piece count adds up and it turns out to be a much larger vehicle than what I actually expected it to be. And I think it's the, and it's probably by far the biggest Lego, Lego Speed Champions vehicle that I have. It's not a huge difference, but it's a difference enough where it actually makes this also a really decently valued set as well. I also like how much detail is in this build and having the Dom Toretto minifigure is a bonus. So 
I rate this set 5 out of 5 stars simply because LEGO did everything correctly with this set. It's priced correctly. The build is actually really good. There's no obvious flaws or weird designs with this build specifically. And because of the blocky nature of the 1970 Dodge Charger, it actually makes this set work really well for LEGO Speed Champions because of the fact that LEGO itself is blocky and having a more blockier car, even though it also makes it more realistic to the car in LEGO form, it actually makes a better looking car than a car with a lot of curves that LEGO would have to obviously mold around as best as possible to create that look. But apart from that, that's pretty much it. Now, let me know what your thoughts are down below on this video and this build. Let me know if you have it and what you think of it. If you enjoyed the video, please smash the, the like button. If you wanna see more content just like this, please subscribe. I hope you guys have a great day and keep building.